Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I am Pedro from PTFS Europe and today we will be looking at a new module we are developing for Aspen Discovery. It's called Community Engagement. Before we begin, I just want to make clear that this is a work in progress. There is still quite a bit of polish missing and some functionality to be implemented, but we believe that this is already in a state where we are able to provide a demo and really just showcase the overall idea of what the module is supposed to do. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments and let's dive into it. So to start things off, we are going to enable the module. So on Aspen administration, we go into modules and then we find the community module and enable that. So once we have the community engagement module enabled, we now have this section here for managing campaigns, milestones, and rewards. So the basic idea of the module is to provide staff members with the tools to configure their own milestones and campaigns. So let's picture an example of a campaign that goes for a whole month uh, where you're celebrating a theme uh, such as music, for example. You may want to configure a campaign that goes for that whole month and configure milestones where you want users to check out books that are related to music. And that's the example that we're going to be doing here. So the first thing we need to do is configure a reward. What are the users working towards, right? Is this a store coupon? Is this ice cream? Um, what's the reward for this, uh, for accomplishing this campaign? We're going to be using um, just a uh, store voucher, uh, just as an example, um, can be whatever. And then you can also pick physical or digital. For now, we're just going to be limiting uh, to physical. And we save that. And now we configure our milestone. And let's say we want people to uh, check out um, five music titles. That's right here, conveniently. And we say that uh, whenever a checkout with, I don't know, the subject uh, contains music, whenever, whenever that happens, whenever a user does that checkout that matches these conditionals, the user is going to make pro progress towards this milestone. So we're happy with that. We're going to save and, uh, and return. And we are going to now create a campaign. So we're going to say this is uh, music month, right? And the description, just celebrating music. And we are going to set this milestone here that we just configured previously. And we're going to say the goal is to check out five. And the reward is a store voucher. And we're also going to say that this campaign is going to be running um, across during uh, October. Now we have our reward, our milestone, our campaign, everything is set up. So what do users do with this exactly? Because until this point, we are doing this as a staff member in Aspen. So now we're going to be masquerading as a Koha user. And I am now a Koha user, uh, which is a patron, right? Uh, that's what I'm masquerading as. We now have this section here called Enrolled Campaigns. I can also see here uh, your campaigns. And as you can see, uh, we have one active campaign. It's called uh, M Music Month, and we are currently not enrolled. So let's enroll in this campaign. And there we have it. So this is, uh, we are now enrolled in it. We are provided with information that um, we have completed zero out of one milestones. And we can see the uh, information here uh, for the milestone itself, which is to check out five music titles. So let's now do some checkouts for this patron. And let's say there's Let's say we have this book here, 
which definitely contains music in the title. And we're going to be checking out this to our Patreon user that we are using in Aspen. So let's just do a checkout here for the Koha user. The checkout is done. Uh, I now have this book uh, on my user. And if we go back to Aspen as this user and we go to check out titles, we can see this checkout is actually in Aspen. And if we take a look at our campaigns and look at the campaign information, we can now see that we have made progress towards this campaign, which is to check out five music titles. And it also conveniently tells us uh, which title um, is, what is, is contributing towards this milestone progress. Uh, if we do a different checkout, remember the conditionals is you know, if there's music in the title. And, and we can use other fields as well. We can use subjects and author and more to come. Um, but let's now do a, a third for um, a different topic. And let's actually check out a book that does not match the criteria, right? Which is to work towards the music month. And let's do a checkout for the same user. We now have two checkouts in Koha. If we go back to Aspen and look at our account, we can see that indeed we have two checkouts here once the, uh, the, the refresh happens. If we go back to our campaigns and look at the campaign information, as you can see, uh, progress was not made uh, for this campaign because you know the title it's about medicine, it does not match the rules for music. Uh, so this is uh, the same. It's just to prove that like the possibilities that we can have here, right? For a milestone configuration, you can have different rule sets and it's really up to the st staff member uh, what they want to add as rules for matching and how many milestones you wanna have to a campaign because a campaign may, may have uh, multiple milestones, right? For our second exercise, we are going to be adding a milestone for uh, reviews. So we want our users to place reviews and engage with the content. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add a new milestone, uh, which is um, place um, 10 reviews. And we select here a rating. Um, and because I want this to happen to any review, I don't want to put any conditionals. So I'm, I'm going to leave this as blank. I don't want to limit this whatsoever. I just want any review to come towards this milestone. So now we save the milestone. Uh, the second thing we need to do is attach this milestone to a campaign. So we're going to be using the campaign we already have. And we're going to be editing this and add a new milestone and say, let's have this one here with uh, a goal of 10. Uh, for now, let's just have the same reward, uh, it doesn't matter, and save this <clears throat> campaign. The next step that we need to do is go back to our uh, library user account, and we go and see our active campaigns, and click on campaign information, and as you can see, we now have a, another milestone to work to work towards on this campaign, which is to place 10 reviews. So let's start work on that. Um, I'm gonna do a search for music again, and I'm gonna place a review on this, on this book and say uh, whatever I, I want to say and put a rating. And now I'm gonna put a second rating on this one here. Is my second rating. And now I've done two ratings. Uh, let me check my progress on uh, the campaign. If we now go here to campaign information, as you can see, we have uh, two out of 10. So we are doing progress here on this second milestone for the same campaign. Uh, so this is the, the demo. This is what we wanted to show you. Um, as you can imagine, the possibilities uh, are really, uh, I'm not going to say endless, but they are really um, 
up to imagination uh, on what you can do here. Um, we have a bunch of functionality uh, that we have planned here, such as limiting uh, campaigns to uh, patrons of a certain category, um, highlighting the upcoming campaigns on homepage and search results. Um, we have work to do uh, on permissions. Uh, we also have work to do on dashboards. Uh, that's also planned. So I'm going to actually showcase this a bit and go to uh, show you here the dashboards. So this is really bare bones still. Again, work in progress. But these are the things roughly that we are planning at the moment. Um, so I hope I picked your interest in this. Let, again, let me know what you think down in the comments. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.